Okay, in this video we're going to go over uh, scientific notation. Uh, this is an example of a paper one problem from, I think it's May 2010, I can't remember exactly. Uh, but it was the first problem on the paper one, and it's worth six points. Uh, it's actually fairly easy, and if you know how to use a calculator with scientific notation, you don't really have to worry about um, getting any of these wrong. But I see a lot of my kids make mistakes on these, so um, let's just go over it real quick here. It says, uh, let's see, consider the following numbers. P equals uh, 0 0.00314. Q equals 0 0.00314 times 10 to the second power. R equals pi divided by 1,000. And S equals 3.14 times 10 to the negative 2 power. Okay. All right. So, obviously, these numbers... Um, <clears throat> they're fairly close, well, they're not that close together, but they look fairly close together because they all use 3.14. Um, typical IV trick here. Um, one of these numbers is written in the form of A times 10 to the K, where uh, A is greater than or equal to 1 or less than 10, and K is a, an element of integers. That just means it's in scientific notation. So what do we have to look at this one? Well, Obviously, uh, P is not in scientific notation. Point, there's not times 10 to any power. Now, Q, uh, it's times 10 to the second power. Uh, let's see, Q is times 10 to the second power, but it's not the point zero zero three one four is uh, not in between 1 and 10, so that's no good. Um, this is not in scientific notation. It's just a fraction. Um, 3.14 times 10 to the negative 2. Okay, well that is in scientific notation, so we're good to go right there. So that's one easy point. Um, now this is 6 points out of 90, so, um, you know, it's about, what is that, about 6 or 7% um, of the test, and it's, it's pretty easy. So you want to get these easy points at, before the test gets harder. So it's 3.14 uh, times 10 to the negative 2 power. Okay. Now, write down the smallest of these numbers. Okay, now what I would do here is I would turn them all into just regular decimals. Okay, and I'm going to do this down at the bottom here. Uh, we'll do part B right here. Okay, so like the first one is, you know, point P is point zero zero uh, three one four. Okay, now Q. It's basically <clears throat> point zero zero three one four times ten to the second power. Well, ten to the second power is a hundred. Okay, so basically all this is is you just need to move the decimal over twice. So it's going to be point three one four. So that's bigger than p. Um, R pi divided by a thousand. Okay, well that's three point one four divided by a thousand. I mean we we can do that on the calculator um, just to show you where pi is. Uh, if we turn the calculator on, get out of finance here. Um, okay, so pi is right above the exponent symbol right here. And you just divide it by 1,000, and it should give us a decimal. Okay, so it's point, uh, zero, zero, three, one, four, et cetera. It goes on forever. But we'll just do it for to point, uh, what was it? It was point zero, zero, three, one, four. Okay, so that's point... Zero zero three one four. Um, wait, hold on. Okay, so we we might actually have an issue here. So point three one four one five. It keeps going on. So this is actually bigger than the other one, uh, than than p. Okay, so those are pretty close. They both, you know, they're both even. This is going to be bigger. And then three point one four times ten to the negative two power. Okay, well, let me just show you how to do this on the calculator in case, you know, you move the decimal place twice to the left, but you can just do 3.14 um, times 10, raise it to the negative 2 power, and you get 0 0.0314. Okay. 0 0.0314. My handwriting is not good on this. Okay, what's the smallest of these? Well, it's obviously P, so I would just put P... Um, and that equals, you know, 0 0.00314. Okay, so you're halfway done. Um, now, write the, down the value of Q plus S. All right, now here I wouldn't even mess around with it. I would go straight to the calculator. Um, so for this one, 
Okay, just be careful with these. I would put it in parentheses or brackets. So just it's 0 0.00314 times t 10 to the second power. Okay, plus. Now I'm going to show you how to do um, scientific notation here um, on the calculator without doing 10 to the negative 2. You can just do 3.14 and there if you look above the comma here there's an ee so I would just if you do that that's basically means exponent and it's going to be negative 2. So that's a way of writing scientific notation. You can I mean you can type it out times 10 to the negative 2 like I did on the top but that's a kind of a shorter way to do that. The only reason the only thing is you can't um, <clears throat> When you when you do that, you if you can't write like e to the negative two on your test, you have to write ten to the negative two. So we'll just go with that, and it's point three four five four. So you want to put it to three significant figures, and it doesn't say to write it in scientific notation or anything like that. So we're just going to do point uh, three four five. Okay, so zero point three four five. All right, almost done here, and then give your answer uh, in part C uh, in well, okay, so anytime you see this, this just means write it in scientific notation. Okay, so what we'll do here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it on the calculator. All you have to do is go to mode, and see it's, it says normal up here. Just go to scientific, basically, and then second quit, and it will do it for you. I mean, I, I mean, most kids can do this on their own, but I mean, if you're if you're a little confused about it, just boom, do it like that and you get 3.45 times 10 to the negative 1 power. Okay, so it's going to be uh, 3.45. You want to three significant figures times 10 to the negative 1 power. Okay, and there you go. That's done. So, you know, scientific notation is a fairly easy concept. Uh, you just want to make sure, you know, you can use the calculator with these. Oftentimes you'll have to multiply or divide, and you can do that straight up with the calculator. Just make sure you use your brackets. Um, you know, you can use the, you know, EE here, um, that helps a lot. You can use the mode. Now you want to make sure when you go back to your other problems that you change it back to normal, which I would just, um, change right here and, you know, get out of that and you're good to go. Um, this is, you know, this is the first problem on, like I said, on a paper one test and it's six points. It gets you started right off the bat. Nice, easy problem. Um, there you go. All right. Hope it helped. Uh, take it easy.